Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, recently, my friend Wayne uh, went to an Asian supermarket and he sent me this picture. And in the caption of the picture, he wrote uh, too many choices, LOL. And yes, it might seem to be very confusing. And in this video, I would like to give you some general guidelines of how to select the sauces for you to use in stir frying. In many ways, all these choices is wonderful for the purpose of flavor chasing, uh, which is an attribute of my fast cooking system. Uh, in addition to flavor chasing, it also includes advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. Uh, the best way for me to explain why stir frying have so many different sauces is to use the example of salad dressing. Uh, when you think about salad dressing, uh, you can classify salad dressing into uh, two major categories. A salad dressing can be very simple. Uh, for example, you can use oil and vinegar, which is the most simple form of salad dressing. Uh, by pouring the oil and vinegar directly over the salad, uh, we know that they will not penetrate into uh, the salad ingredients. And they simply coat the surface of the salad. Now, it's going to depend on how much salad dressing that you use. Uh, if you use a small amount of it, you basically try to enhance the natural flavor of the salad ingredients. And by varying the amount, uh, you can uh, change the characteristic of the salad. And when you flavor a stir frying dish, it's actually very similar as you flavor a salad. Uh, because in stir frying, you only uh, cook the ingredients for a very uh, short period of time. And therefore, the sauces that you add to flavor the stir frying ingredients will only affect the surface area of the food ingredients. Uh, there's one stir frying sauce uh, that comes from the southern part of China uh, of the Guangdong province. Uh, this particular sauce is actually function almost like a salad dressing, and this is sauce is known as hoisin sauce. Uh, this sauce actually has a mild flavor, uh, making it very versatile uh, to season many different types of dishes. Uh, the sauce is a sweet sauce. It is intent to enhance the umami flavor of the dish. And one of the most famous applications of this sauce is uh, in making what is known as mushu pork. Uh, this sauce is designed uh, not to overwhelm the food ingredients, rather to enhance the natural flavor of the food ingredients. Uh, this sauce is also very frequently uh, used in the wrap. And here is a wrap uh, which comes from KFC and is very popular in China. And of course, uh, you can use the hoisin sauce in stir frying. Uh, recently, my friend Dan asked me, uh, how do I use hoisin sauce in my stir frying? How do I know how much to use? I remember when I first started to use hoisin sauce when I was cooking in a Chinese restaurant. I cooked in a Chinese restaurant uh, full time for two months uh, during the summer after my first years in graduate school. I remember when I asked the chef uh, how should I use hoisin sauce? Should I use the same amount for all the dishes? And his answer is of course not. He said, some dishes you should use more, and some you should less. And then I asked him, how do I know how much I use in each of these dishes? Uh, he said the answer actually quite simple. He took some hoisin sauce, and he gave me a small spoon. He said, I want you to taste it. He said, after you have the taste, now if I give you a dish uh, with hoisin sauce in it, uh, you will now know how much you want to put in uh, because you would detect the hoisin sauce in different type of dishes. And he was right because the hoisin sauce come with a distinct signature. Uh, in some dish, I can taste the hoisin sauce much stronger, whereas in other dish, I have only a very slight hint of the presence of the hoisin sauce. 
based on that, I can clearly see that different dishes require different amount of hoisin sauce. It all depends on how the flavor are designed to serve that particular dish. After he explained it to me, I discovered that hoisin sauce really stand alone. Instead, hoisin sauce is always used in combination with soy sauce, such as a light soy sauce or a dark soy sauce. But the light soy sauce has a deeper umami flavor, whereas the dark soy sauce has more a smoky flavor. And the sweetness of the hoisin sauce will create a contrast between whether you use a light soy sauce or a dark soy sauce. And immediately, I understand the distinction of different combination that is suitable for different types of food ingredients. And this was the beginning in my formulation of my concept of flavor chasing. And here's another example of the combination of oyster sauce with hoisin sauce. Now, oyster sauce is different from soy sauce because oyster sauce has a much richer umami flavor. And this umami flavor comes from oyster extract, which has a distinctiveness from the umami flavor that comes from soy sauce, which originated from fermented soybean. Now, here's a good example that uh, in a vegetable bok choy dish like this, the umami flavor are far more desirable if it's come from an oyster sauce. At least for my personal preference, the sweetness of the hoisin sauce just doesn't seem to be belong to this particular dish. As somehow, both the flavor and the texture of the bok choy that does not work with a hoisin sauce. Uh, on the other hand, uh, a chicken dish seems to tell a very different story. Uh, the combination of oyster sauce and hoisin sauce uh, in a chicken dish will create the traditional teriyaki flavor. And by varying the amount of uh, hoisin sauce, uh, you can change the sweetness of the dish. Again, there's a lot of personal preference in how much. So as you can see here, by simply varying the ratios of uh, hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, and the two different type of soy sauce, uh, you can create a wide spectrum of flavor uh, just by alter the ratio. So I learned to uh, vary the amount of hoisin sauce uh, through taste testing to make sure that I have at just the right amount uh, to create the flavor that I love. Uh, one thing that I learned when I work in the Chinese restaurant is to put all your sauces uh, in squeeze bottles. And the reason, as explained to me by the chef, uh, this will allow you to be more precisely uh, in adding the sauces uh, to the wok. Uh, because this will allow you to add uh, a small amount at a time when you do flavor chasing. And using this method, I can make fine adjustment uh, to my flavor. However, you are not limited to use these sauces because you can further uh, alter the flavor of the sauce uh, by using other sauces such as this uh, fried chili in oil sauce uh, to give the dish a spicy flavor. So right there, you can see that you can create a complexity of flavor uh, using these different various type of sauces. But you can even make further changes for spicy flavor by using a sriracha sauce rather than the fried chili in oil sauce. I call this flavor chasing strategy as a layering effect. In fact, what you're doing is that you lay different sauces on top of each other and to create the desired flavor that you are looking for. Here, I use a rice vinegar. As you can see here, with only four or five this what I call basic sauces, will allow you to create a wide range of flavor. Uh, generally, if you have uh, five or six different sauces at your disposal, you will have a large possibilities uh, to the sauces that you can create. Uh, when I work in uh, the Chinese restaurant as a cook during the summer, 
uh, we have probably about 15 sources to draw from. A uh, hoisin sauce, soy sauce, and oyster sauce uh, are three of the most commonly used sauce. When I talk about flavor chasing, I mean uh, to use different types of sauces uh, to create the combination as well as the ratio that you are looking for. Uh, as my friend Jackie told me once, uh, she finds home cooking with the fast cooking system is infinitely creative and fascinating because she is constantly exploring of the flavor that she come to love and enjoy. I hope this video provides you the principle of how to use sauces to flavor your dish. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routines using my fast cooking system, which is practical, efficient, creative, and fun. If you'd like to learn more about the fast cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.